Hey hey, how you going? At around the same time that the coronavirus broke out in the US, I got this computer. And I'm not entirely convinced this PC didn't start the whole thing. I bought this on OfferUp before it was a full-blown scam site. The dude looked cracked out and didn't say a word to me. But the thing that tipped me off was the smell of death leaking from this antique. The only thing more embarrassing about this experience was my dad walking in on me getting dirty. But I was enticed by the retro blue case, the $40 price tag, and the mystery hardware that lied within. Upon my first unobstructed glance at the inside of this machine, I was completely stunned. Throughout this video, you cannot smell what I was smelling. The rock was cooking something, and it has been fermenting. I was stunned. At least somehow I had Clorox wipes in 2020. So I began to scrub, but I found much like the junkie you sold this to me. No matter how much I scrub, I will never be clean. This is when I first noticed the locals. I had no idea I had purchased someone's home. Thankfully, everything looks dead. It was hard to find areas on the case I could actually grab onto for support without catching something. Here I try to check if Clorox is fine on computer bits. It doesn't say no. These cables, as well as the entire PC, is coated in what appears to be bug guts. To this day, these cables are not clean. I am puzzled on how a computer can get this bad. Someone should call PCPS on this guy. And yay, another dead friend under the AGP release latch. I've never been more afraid of a graphics card in my life. Even my cat seems concerned with this situation. It's such a shame this computer immediately became more work than it's worth. Way to taint my first impressions with this old hardware while I try to avoid a contact high. Place your bets is the back of the computer A just as bad. Correct, nobody wins. Best to just cover it up and pretend you didn't see it. On a side note, what the f did it leak into my rug? Power supply is another piece that has still not been cleaned. It's a lost cause, honestly. Just look how rusted it is. How? All right, 99 supply. And for the IDE HDD, we have a little dead buddy. At this point, I have no idea what kind of bugs these are, just massive confusion. The last of the pieces I gave up on, the floppy drive. Not for it being unuseful, no, but it actually doesn't function. Also, it's rusted and gross. You gotta give her the old Chris Brown to get to the optical drive and use protection to avoid any mishaps. I don't think we can assume this board started this color. Those are all dead bugs. Wait, go back. Computer, enhance! That looks alive. First sign of life. There's something alive there. Right there. No, don't you dare. Yeah, he got away. I can't quite figure out what I'm dealing with yet. I feel unclean, and the smell won't leave. And I don't feel safe in my room anymore with a wanderer about. I'm becoming a madman. What may save me is if you were to smash like, uh, if you were enjoying yourself, that is. Now that I've gathered some sanity, we can go over the Pacific bits I'm dealing with. This is what they call an Asus ATI Radeon 9200LE. Came out in 2003 with a whopping 4 pixel shaders and 64 megabyte of DDR4. This is a Socket 462 Asus motherboard, and once you look past all the bug guts, you'll appreciate that this fits Athlon XP processors. Yep, this socket requires forcing a screwdriver into the cooler. Fun stuff. But at the same time, these chips have exposed dies, which means you gotta be careful not to chip them. What I have here is an Athlon XP 2400+, Plus, but since then I've acquired a few more to play with. Aside from being absolutely disgusting, this little cooler is actually kinda cute. But the thermal paste is drier than your mum. Friendly reminder not to let your computer go like this, your CPU will suffocate. And I, I don't get it, it looks like someone summoned the dust of a thousand bunnies, added in a nest of bugs for good measure, and let the intake fans do the rest. It looks like you gave your computer cigarettes. This is so fucking disgusting. This case is gonna need so much freaking work. Well, at least I'm safe now. Ah, spoke too soon. Ah, oh, God, there's another...
What you doing to my home, man? What you doing to my home? I'm gonna murder that thing. This dude is resilient AF to just now be waking up from his little nap. It was around this time that I realized these are probably German cockroaches. IMO, this is the final straw for Germany. Just leave the case and see what happens. Come on, I fucking dare you. You want some Clorox, little buggy? Where the fuck did you go? Don't call PETA, this is obviously self-defense. So I'm waiting for him to escape because I don't know where he is. Meow! Meow! <sighs> this is awful. Luckily, this is the underside. There's a bug in there. Did he really just vanish? Oh, no, no, he's in, he's in this one. He escaped! Shit. Okay, well, this is the end. The front bit is still not reattached today, it's fairly broken. I don't fully expose the mess below here because I like my lungs working, thank you. If this is not satisfying, I don't know what is. This vacuum really came in clutch. This case really was not worth this. And hey, not a complete waste of time, money, and effort. We got a post. But wowza, that is a jet engine. I'm gonna put extra uh, ricotta in it though, is that okay? Ricotta is canonically wow. the worst cheese. Not even the floppy drive escaped the atrocity. Also, he didn't wipe his drive, but the only thing on it was conspiracy theories. Fitting. This funny looking toothbrush and Dremel both help with the rust. Damn straight I spent too much on DVDs to burn a totally legal and legit version of Windows 98 SC, as well as other necessary drivers. Setup is pretty straightforward. You have a healthy selection of certain software to pre-install, and I kind of like this more. Heck, this is 1998. Windows just got better, more innovative, easier to use, easier to get help, connects you to the web, brings the desktop to enhances communication, new communication tool, faster performance, more storage space, increased dependability, increased re <laughs> Yeah, we'll see about that. And more entertaining, better games. We'll test that too. Supports new, more accessible, more customizable. Check out Windows Update. Thank you. Yeah. After taking my time exploring the nostalgic desktop environment and personalization features, I had to try out something practical. So I went with Bethesda's Arena from 1994. Skyrim 1, as you may call it, is now free to download from their website. Oh yeah, I needed graphics drivers too. Uh, neat colors and resolution work now. Insert deep directory. Gam. You should try this game out. It's uh, not a lot of fun. And then I became Russian. A fatal exception has occurred. Press any key to continue. Blat. This is a headache and a half. I'm telling you that much. <sighs> so I might have to reinstall Windows 98. And now it has these issues. Oh, I missed that file. And I missed that file. Okay, I turn on now. Miss file, no problem. It takes 30 to 6 simium. Not too long. Too long for a computer. In Russia, we wait no time at all. Every good game play on Windows, Nanya. I found confusing keyboard. Look at function row. Very weird, am I right? I don't think I'm speaking Russian right. I'm just... <clears throat> I play roulette and blow brands out. Soon, duh. Increased reliability. Bring back good memories of childhood. Oh, da. Finally, very good work. None of this works. Very bad. Many websites. It do not know what to do. It's like, what operating system are you on? I have not heard of so long. Windows 98. Uh, are you gonna stop on a fucking page or what? I am so sorry you had to hear that. I think the fumes got to my brain. My marbles were gone. Anyway, you can find an old version of Firefox that worked better as well as other software like GIMP. Uh, Vogons is a very useful tool for retro computing. A good resource for keyboards as well as old monitors is Goodwill. A few bucks per PS2 keyboard and 10 to $20 for a monitor. You will have to clean it yourself though. Just keep track of where your keys go. Closing out this chapter of the disgusting PC I played with just a couple of games. Morrowind performs similarly to the first Xbox, and I have more video cards, processors, and games to test on this fixer-upper. Heck, if all else fails, I know Puppy Linux works on this. Because, oh yeah, Windows 98 is incredibly unstable. But this project is not done yet. 
This PC is sticking around in my arsenal, and if you want to come along for the ride, you may as well subscribe. And let me know what you think below. Have a good day. Increase reliability.